All right, guys, so this is the start of a few clips over the past week. Well, not a few clips, just two little workouts that I've done on my new program. I just wanted to use these clips because I didn't vlog with them, just kind of recorded the workouts to talk to you guys about what's been going on. So I recently just got a new coach. If you guys do or don't know who Joey Flex is, he's like one of the best powerlifting coaches in the world. Um, and he's been coaching my girlfriend Erin for quite some time now, and he's gotten her very, very strong. And um, I want him to coach me because me and him have built some sort of a little friendship just in the gym being acquaintances. And I figured it'd be good for him to coach me because, you know, for the past nine months I've been bodybuilding and it has been very, very fun. But the only problem is... I've had little to no structure and you know let's say I want to I, in my head I make up okay I want to do three sets of 15 on this exercise I'll end up doing two sets of 15 and I'm like oh fuck it I'll go do something else right that type of stuff so but when everything's written out and I can see it I can you know I'm much more motivated to finish off my sets and finish off of my volume and also I do miss being strong um I haven't powerlifting I haven't been powerlifting the past nine months and I've just been getting back into it um, this is just a push day and then there's some squat clips later on in the video and I definitely felt like I needed that structure of my training to one get strong stronger and two I didn't want to go in the gym anymore and just kind of not know what to do um, another thing with my training lately, I've had this weird thing going on with my wrist, and as you can see right here, I took off my wrist wraps this set to kind of test out my wrist. For some reason, when I'm warming up, when I've been warming up on bench or pulling up my pants, I've had this weird little sharp irritation or painy. It's like a 0.5 out of 10. It's like right in my wrist, so I just kind of have been messing with that. That's probably gonna go away soon, but I just wanted to say that basically. And honestly, I've held on to my strength relatively well. I just hit a single on bench at. 308 pounds and then I did three sets of eight with 248 pounds which was fairly good um, I was actually kind of impressing myself with how strong I still am on the movements which is great um, so right now in terms of all this footage it's just kind of me trying to get used to the powerlifting movements again my upper body doesn't get very sore whatsoever but like I've deadlifted twice now and squatted like three times or so and I definitely feel the soreness from just taking a long break off those powerlifting movements so what the plan is right now is to start power building. So I told Joey to design the program based around power building. So bodybuilding and powerlifting mixed together. So I'm still doing my compound movements, except it's not an excessive, excessive amount of volume like I used to be doing when I was like squatting 585 and stuff like that. Um, because I want to be strong again and I want to hit PRs eventually, but I don't want to be a power lifter, if that makes sense. Like I want to be a power lifter, but I don't want to be a power lifter. I want to look really good still, but I also want to be strong and I want to progress on my lifts without having to squat four times a week, deadlift four times a week, bench four times a week, whatever, you know, exaggerated, but you, you get the point, right? Just much less volume on the compound movements and more volume on the bodybuilding movements. And that's the goal is to maintain the physique and get back into those heavier compound movements. Um, and maybe even in the future, a few months down the line, hit some PRs and everything like that. So am I back to powerlifting? Yes, but no, but yes, because I'm not a full-time powerlifter, but I am doing the combat movements, which is considered powerlifting. So yeah, that's where I'm at right now with training. And Joey Flex is an awesome guy. I'm really, really happy to have him coaching me. I'm probably going to do a video with him or something eventually. Just maybe talk to him, get him to say hi to you guys on camera or something like that. But also, on top of that, just a random thing to say, I guess, since it doesn't really relate to training, but Gabe Deutsch, Gabe Deutsch, but it's pronounced Gabe Deutsch, but he's coming over this weekend, so we're going to hang out and make some uh, footage and everything like that. And another thing revolving around my content is I know people are probably wondering where the 100K video is, and the truth is, is I don't really want to rush that video. I know it, I said it'd be the next video, but then I realized if I wanted to really make that video the next video I post, which would have been this video, it would have taken up a lot of mental space and it's put a mental block on my content, which is why I haven't posted in like four days, but I've been recording because I'm like, oh, I really want to make this video good, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But at the end of the day, I don't want the 100K video to stop me from being consistent. So I'm just going to keep uploading regularly, just kind of sporadically how I have been doing, but when the 100K video comes, it'll come probably sometime this month. I just don't want that video to stop me from posting all of my other content that I have. So yeah, be on the lookout for that video. It's not gonna be soon, soon, but definitely I think sometime this month I'll be doing that.
And it does kind of suck to not have that freedom. Like, you know, if I want to hang out with somebody or collab with them, I'm going to have to kind of stick to my program. We're going to have to work around it. But that's a price to pay to be strong. You can't just fuck around all the time. A lot of people don't really understand with gaining strength. You have to be extremely, extremely consistent. There's not a lot of like quote unquote influencers that are very, very strong and they look very, very good. It's kind of like in between the both. You just, you're really strong looking shit or you're really weak and look great. But you know, to be the best, like, you know, to be the best of both worlds, like kind of like how I am, not to toot my own horn, you need to really, really be consistent. You need to really, really eat your food and just stay in the pocket. Don't go max out for a video don't go off program for a video so that does suck to not kind of have that freedom to mess around and do whatever i want have i made gains over the nine months i've been bodybuilding yes i do think so i definitely think i've made some gains which is going to help in regards to powerlifting but it's time to get back on structure and schedule and pack on even more muscle while again trying to gain that old strength back that i used to have so yeah that's just a quick little update on the training i just wanted to get something out there tonight because there's a lot of good content coming up this week and i just wanted to post a video so yeah hope you enjoyed 365 for three sets of eight i don't think i recorded the last set but yeah hamstrings boom boom yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video just wanted to basically hop on here and give you a few updates and i will see you guys in the next one sorry about the short vid